Greetings, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. And uh, today's Sunday, as you know. <laughs> and we're, we had something come our way, kind of a project come our way. And as we were setting it up, I started to realize that this, there's something to learn here. Um, these calves came from a farm that my wife works at. She's the calf tenderer. You know, they have 300, it's a 300 cow dairy and, uh, you know, they have quite a few calves coming through. And these ones were being raised to be replacement heifers. So they would replace the cows someday. So they're all females. And what has happened to them is they've lost a lot of their lung capacity. So they wind up being called lungers. And uh, they are culled for that reason. Now what that means is a lot of times in that setting, there'll be just a lot of thick bedding that's you know got a lot of ammo ammonia in it. You know, it's a lot of calves in one area. And the ammonia coming off has a tendency to damage their young lungs. And uh, you know, the lungs uh, will heal but they need to be put in an area where they have a little space and there's very little stress on them and they can get some good sun and some good, you know, all the things that they need. Now, we just put them in here. Um, in, a, in a scenario like that, when they're inside in a barn, what you have is you have a situation that is way, way out of balance way out of balance so there's tons of ammonia right out here you're never going to smell any ammonia did i say pneumonia i meant ammonia you're never going to smell any of that because it's too wide open hey i think this cow's going to get out this calf's going to get out jim's my uh he's getting all that bad bedding out and so I think that if they're going to have a chance of recovery, I think this is going to be the place where they would recover, right? We'll see. Nobody's out anything if they don't make it, but I think they will. They, they would not be suitable for a cow in an uh, industrial scenario, but they'll be, they'll be fine out here. You know? So what we did, we needed a place to put them. We didn't want to put them in with the other calves because they're sick. So we wanted to isolate them for a little while. So what we did is we came out and this is our garden area. See if you recognize this, there's the greenhouse. This is where we grow our garden every year. These are the trellises for the peas or the beans. And so we just utilized that side and then we moved a couple of them around, drove in some T-posts real quick and made this this enclosure here real quick. These guys don't push fences. They're just, it's just not in them to do it. And then there's a lot of greens in here from last summer that they'll, they'll make good use of. But the point is this garden is very balanced nutrient wise, very, very balanced. So anything that drops out of these guys is going to go into a an environment, a soil environment that's really balanced and it will be able to handle it. And uh, you can see what Jim's doing there. He's just getting all that old bedding out of the trailer and that will become part of the garden. You know, all their manure, all their urine, all the bedding that we put in here, it'll become part of the garden. And then in the spring, you know, we can till this all in and it's just gonna add to the nutrient base. But I think these calves in a balanced environment and with a little TLC, I think we can bring them through. And uh, you know, they might make a good home homestead milk cow. You know, these are Holsteins, the black and white ones. They're worth about nothing now because the price of milk is so low that uh, commercial farmers are having a really hard time and they have been for a long time and they say it's gonna continue for a few years. But the milk that they give is, you know, it's, it's good milk and they give a lot of it. 
Uh, typically Holsteins are not used for homestead cows and I think that's because it's a high-speed cow that requires or or it's like a Ferrari you can put 130 octane in the tank you can you don't need to they won't perform that well but what kind of performance do you need for a homestead cow how much milk do you need these guys at their peak if they're getting the 130 octane high lead fuel they'll put out six gallons of milk a day six gallons of milk but that's not what we need for a scenario like the homestead cow if we're getting three gallons that's a lot of milk you know for for use on a homestead so we'll see i've never i've never used them for homestead cows but um i'm thinking that because they are in our, you know, they're the pieces on our playing board here. We're gonna, just to see, and we'll be able to kind of report back. Wouldn't it, uh, wouldn't it be interesting if a cow like this, a great big Holstein like this, was utilizable as a homestead cow? That would really be neat. Okay, well, we'll keep you up to speed. So it'd be fun to show this. Remember, anyone can farm.